my speech walking remembering things were those issues that you had prior to this fire no this is all new yes renee fortner one of 11 people hurt at an apartment fire on detroit's west side last month trapped inside their unit with her 13 year old son galen two dogs and a cat i snatched my sheets off my bed and tied them to the bed and then I told him to go, he wouldn't leave me. And I said, you gotta get out of here. Her son reluctantly climbed to safety. Their dogs, summer and winter, she let down in a laundry bag. I was so happy to say him. You know. Their cat didn't make it. Renee was last to get out, breathing in the most smoke and suffering a head injury on the way down, putting her in a coma for days, leaving her with serious permanent medical issues, her speech and mobility. We don't, we don't got shoes, clothes, nothing. They bought us a blow-up bed. We're sleeping on a blow-up bed on the floor in the front room. Making it even worse, investigators say the fire was set on purpose. Retaliation for a homicide at the apartments a couple days earlier. Surveillance video shows the four suspects, one with a gas can, and they're still out there. You heard Renee, she is sleeping on an air mattress and in her physical condition, they lost absolutely everything. They definitely need some help. There is a GoFundMe page attached to this story on our website if you want to donate. Anything will help. Even if you could donate clothes, beds, anything. It ain't all about money all the time. Sometimes people just need support, somebody to talk to. Reporting on Detroit's West Side, Jessica Dupnak, Fox 2 News.